Hello and welcome to Tutor Pipes Tutorials for Flash Professional 8. In this tutorial we're going to go over flash buttons and specifically I'm going to show you uh, how to create a basic button and uh, this tutorial isn't going to be that long so uh, by the end you should have intermediate knowledge with how to create a basic button and I'm going to show you the different states of, uh, of the button so you can see exactly what what they are. Creating a button is extremely simple. Um, first of all, you have to have something uh, directly on the stage, whether it's text or a shape or even another movie clip. Whatever you have on stage, you can go ahead and take your selection tool and select it, or just uh, use your rectangle tool to select however many different uh, items on the stage that you want to. Okay, but once we have it selected, we could press F8, which is the same thing as hitting modify and converting the symbol. Okay, so hit F8. And we want this to be a button, of course. And we are going to name this button 1. And then hit enter or click OK. Okay, congratulations, you've already set up your very first button. Okay, real simple. Now, to give you a little bit more information about um, what happens with the button whenever someone uh, sees your um, uh, the Flash movie, what we do is we go inside of our button in order to uh, to edit it. Okay, and there's one of a couple different ways that we can do that. We could right click on the button, and from the menu, click on Edit or Edit in Place. Or what we can do, select it, and then right within the library panel, click on the symbol directly. I'm sorry, uh, right click on the symbol, and then click on edit. Okay, and uh, all of those methods take you to the same spot, which is right here, where you can see the different states or the different uh, types of uh, of the different ways that the button looks. Okay, here is our regular state, and you can see that uh, uh, our frame indicators in the very first frame. Now, if our user was to move their mouse cursor directly over uh, our button, then we're going to see something else. Okay, and we'll just keep this as is for now. Now the down state is what our user sees when they click on it. Okay, in the hit area, what I'm doing is I'm pressing F6 just to insert different keyframes. Okay, and what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to convert this into white. So our user sees some sort of feedback that they've actually clicked on our button. Okay. Now this time I will test our movie uh, by holding Control and hitting Enter, and this is our finished product right here. Okay, and you can see that our mouse cursor changes. So we that means that uh, at this point we can click on this particular part of the movie. So when I click down and hold the mouse button down, you see that our button switches over to the down state. Okay, so it turns white. All right, and you can mess around with the other states. Now, obviously, the uh, the last one that we did not go over was the hit area. That just represents the actual portion of uh, the button that you can click on. Okay. But that's a simple button, uh, so you can get it to react to the user's mouse cursor uh, in lots and lots of different ways. You know, you can insert movie clips into different portions and um, create very, very cool effects. All right, so that's uh, creating a basic button. Um, thank you very much for watching Tutor Pipes Tutorials.